In anticipation of your questions, I will provide you with some answers. Yes, you have fallen into my trap. Even you fell for it, Hand of the Upstart. It has been many years since I caught your angel in the caves beneath Canabras and allowed him to leave his flaming sword in the stone. He promised that sooner or later, someone would remove it. And I decided to believe him. 
I kept a watch on the sword. I have watched and waited all these years. Waited for the promise to come true. For the sword's new owner to bring me to you. To take me to the secret temple. You protected it well. In fact, the temple is still hidden from my sight. But I do not need to see the temple in order to destroy it. I simply need to know where it is. Night Commander. That is how one ought to address you, yes. I've been watching you for a long time, and I already know how, when, and where I'm going to kill you. Mortal children like to tear the wings off of flies and butterflies, and I, in turn, like to have my fun with the inheritor's pets. Silence, Echo! You fiend! Do you think I do not see your secret desire? Aerodin overthrew you. He brought his hand down upon you and crushed you like a gnat. Since that day, you have nursed your resentment and jealousy, letting them fester within you. You are too much of a coward for honest combat. You prefer to ambush your prey, striking from the shadows. I will put an end to this. I will put an end to you. And you will take the secret of Pelura's fall with you to your grave. There is so much you do not see, Harold. of the other planes in the abyss. Colorful flashes, magic that deflects the gaze and obscures the vision. It must be Polora, the mistress of bright lights who has tried to hide her temple in my domain. How could you let such a thing happen, Iomade the Impostor? Don't you feel sorry for your angelic allies? You should have just ordered them to serve their priest up on a platter to me. The end result would be the same. So, my Echo has found the Temple of Polura. I wouldn't call it an achievement. But it's not bad for a man that molded from the souls and bodies of mortals. Hmm. What else? Gold. Light. A sweet smell. It all seems suspiciously like heaven. Well then, Iomade the Impostor, whom have you sent? Could it be your herald? And your new pet from Canabras? Or oh, have I already killed that one? I lose track of such things. There are so many of them fussing about with their halos and wings, babbling their long, arduous prayers to some self-proclaimed goddess. Will you ever get tired of sending your favorites to the slaughter? Nothing to say, imposter. One day I will knock on the doors of heaven and you will have to answer. So remain silent for now, and observe. Today there will be no bloodshed. I will send the Echo back to the Abyss right now. You will not take our secret to the Abyss, you monster! Your main flaw is predictability, Pawns of Heaven. I already know your next move, your methods, your plans of defense. I know how to catch you off guard, and it's as simple as catching a bird in a cage. I will return to the abyss as my lord has ordered, but I am not retreating in defeat. I am carrying off my prey. The screams of your stupid priestess will haunt your every waking moment, and thoughts of her will taunt you in the silence of the night. 
You will be my entertainment until you are within my grasp.